Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the side quest short sided ambition here in Dragon's Dogma 2. So let's jump into it. So to start this quest, you want to make your way over to Back Batal. And once you get here, you want to visit Isaac's Wares. Now, once you make it over to Isaac's, you just want to purchase any item that he has. I bought one of the camping kits. And after you buy an item, it's going to trigger some dialogue from his wife where she's going to say that, hey, that's the wrong one. And uh, you'll get a little bit more dialogue. And eventually, Isaac is going to ask you to seek out some ripened quints. Now, if you don't already have quints or ripened quints in your inventory, we're going to show you a couple locations here where you can go and pick some up. Keep in mind, we're just going to be picking up standard quints. Once you are able to get one, you only need one, you don't need multiple. Uh, we're going to make our way back to the town and all you need to do to ripen it is to pass three days time. So there's several benches that you can use uh, within Batal. And when you sit down, all you need to do is rest like, I don't know, nine or ten times until it's been around three days. What's really nice about this, if you have the quince in your inventory, when you've waited enough time, it will pop up on your screen that the quest has updated because now you have ripened quince instead of just regular quince. So just keep resting until that pops up on your screen. And once it is ripened, that we can then head back over to Isaac's and uh, and we can give Isaac one of the ripened quints. Now, once you give him the ripened quints, he's going to give you a little bit of dialogue and the quest is going to update and tell you to wait a few days and then return to Isaac. So we can make our way over to the bench that we were just resting on and we can pass time around two days time. And then you can go back to Isaac's and speak with him and he's going to give you some more dialogue. And this time he's going to send you on another mission and this one's going to be to get him a book. Now, after you agree to get him the book and he finishes his dialogue, as you start to run away from Isaac's stand, you're going to get a cut scene from his wife and his daughter, and they are going to try to convince you not to get him that book because they fear for his life. And this is what's going to give us multiple options here in this quest. Now, the next thing you want to do is make your way over to the checkpoint rest town. And once you get down here, you want to visit Ibrahim's scrap store. You guys can see it on the map. Once you make it over to Ibrahim's, we are going to purchase a book that's called On the Transference of Souls 2. You can go ahead and purchase that book as we are going to need that regardless for the quest. But at this point, you're going to have multiple options. After purchasing that book, speak with him again and you'll see an option called Request of Forgery. Uh, if the, the good ending of this quest is going to require you to go back with a forged copy of the book. If you want the bad ending, you can just give him the original book that we bought. Uh, but for the good ending, you want to hit request of forgery, and then you're going to have to wait. He's going to tell you he'll do it. It's like 2,000 gold, and uh, and you'll have to pass a couple days' time. So at this point, what you want to do is go find a bench nearby, rest for a few days, and then you can head back over to Ibrahim's. And once you get to him, it'll give you the option. Now take the forgery, so you'll be able to pick it up. And uh, they're going to be different titles, which is going to help you when you go back. So you'll need to pay close attention to make sure that you're giving him the right book. Now, once you have the forge copy, we're going to make our way back over to Isaac's in Batal. And this time when you speak with him, he's going to ask you if you have the book that he requested. You're going to have two options. The original is going to be called On the Transference of Souls 2. If you want the bad ending, you can give him this one. The forged copy is going to be called On the Transit of Souls 2. So if you want the good ending, give him On the Transit of Souls 2. Now, after you give Isaac the book, he's going to ask you to follow him. He's going to walk extremely slow, but he's essentially going to work his way up the stairs up above his shop so that he can read the book. Just follow him all the way up there. And once you get into the room, it'll start the dialogue. Now, all you need to do is sit through the rest of the dialogue. And once that ends, the quest will be complete. But this is how to complete short sighted ambition here in Dragon's Dogma 2. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.